In this video, we are going to walk through how to calculate the times interest earned ratio. The times interest earned ratio, or TIE, evaluates the company's ability to pay interest expense. This ratio measures the number of times earnings can cover or pay interest expense. This ratio may be called the interest coverage ratio. A high times interest earned ratio indicates a company's ease in paying interest expense. A low ratio suggests a company will have more difficulty in paying its interest expense. The times interest earned ratio is always more useful when it is used for comparison than by itself. The times interest earned ratio can be benchmarked against the times interest earned ratios of companies in the same industry. A company's times interest earned ratio can also be analyzed over time. Generally, it would be desirable to see a times interest earned ratio that is increasing or remaining stable over time. The times interest earned ratio is calculated by taking earnings before interest and taxes divided by interest expense. Earnings before interest and taxes is net income plus income tax expense plus interest expense. Here we have three years of net income for a company. We are going to calculate the times interest earned ratio for each year. To calculate the times interest earned ratio for the most recent year, we would take the net income plus tax expense plus interest expense and divide the total by interest expense. Here we get 8.39 for the most recent year. We will do the same process for the prior year. Take the net income, plus tax expense, plus interest expense, and divide the total by interest expense. We arrive at 11.9 rounded for that prior year. And finally, for two years back, we do the same process. The times interest earned ratio is calculated as 13.5 rounded. Now that we have the times interest earned ratios for three years, we can see that the times interest earned ratio has decreased for the three years. The company is having more difficulty paying its interest expense over the past three years. Remember, a high ratio is better than a low ratio. That's it. We are done. This video was created by Tracy Miller Nobles and narrated by Dr. Wendy Teets and is part of the Accounting Skill Builder video series. See accountingisanalytics.com for additional faculty and student resources.